In this series of learning videos, you'll get the knowledge about creating families in Revit, starting with, with a very simple one and ending up creating advanced families, obtaining skills like experts. This course will take you from beginner level to expert, starting with a very simple example and ending up creating advanced families with embedded families and formulas. All the families that we create during this course will be assembled in a project file, as you see here. The red thread will be to create this relatively simple foundation detail in the order that the building components are actually mounted on the construction site. But remember, this is a school situation. Creating a 3D detail like this will be a rare task in the real world. But in a school situation, a 3D uh, detail like this will be very welcome when you want to communicate the idea and in what order the components are installed on the construction site. Speaking about project files and family files, think of the difference as this example as I show you here. You have been used to creating buildings as we see in this Revit project as you see here. Think of this as the building site. This casework that I have here, if I edit the family, I will leave the building site and go to the factory to edit this family. Remember next time that you need a family, before you begin to create it yourself, do yourself the favor that, first of all, check out what is actually already installed. So if you say load family, um, if you have installed the Dan EDU content, you'll have a huge library of different families, both 2D families and 3D families. Dan EDU content, if we go one step back, this is the catalog or the library that will come with your uh, Revit installation. Uh, also a huge library of different families. Remember to check that out before you begin to create your own family. Another thing is, um, the content that you can download from, for example, BIM Object, I will recommend that, or the National uh, BIM Library from the UK. Um, or you can go to different manufacturer and find different uh, 3D or 2D families that you can use in your project. So before we start the course, let me just go very fast through some basic knowledge about families. When we start up a new family or we want to create a new family, we go into File and New and start up a new family. Here you'll find at least one template file for all the categories that we have in Revit. So if you want to create a window from scratch, I will not though recommend that you create a window or door as one of your first families. But if you want to do that, you'll choose metric window family template. You also see that we have some template files here named metric generic model. Then they can be ceiling based, uh, face based, floor based, line based, and so on. In this course, we'll focus on creating a metric generic model and a metric generic model line based or face based. If you create metric generic models, when we load them into the project and you want to place a component in your project, you'll use this component. I will cancel this because that is what we're going through in the specific videos. Um, when I begin to save my families, it would be based on the BIM 7AA type coding. And then just some final information about the project file that I'm working in. You'll be able to download this, but if you want to create it by yourself, what we have here is the topo surface. I have lowered the area where I'm working on. I have two strip foundation here, some basic wall foundation. Um, about the levels, I have a level at the 
overside of um, the strip foundation, underside of the liquor blocks. Then I have three layers of liquor blocks, and then I have level two up here at zero.